Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the um, Happy Model Lava X. I've had it now for seven weeks and I put it through a lot of punishment and it has worked really good. Uh, most of the reviewers have reviewed this already and most of them for the most part like it uh, quite a bit also. Um, the big issue with Happy Model is they have some reliability issues. They are always first coming out with things like the Mobula 7. Uh, it's a 2S uh, Tiny Whoop that's super fast and maneuverable, uh, but it, because it was so fast, the frame was breaking on it. They had to come up with a better plastic on their version 2 frame and version 3 frames that hold up a lot better. Uh, their next model out was the Sailfly X. It was a toothpick style at, uh, I think the dry weight on that was like 37 grams. Uh, so it was really lightweight and it was quick and fun to fly. Uh, the problem was the uh, flight control board, uh, the Crazy B F4 Pro version 2. Um, the ESCs would occasionally burn out. Uh, they were only 5 amps and they were small frets. Uh, the other bigger problem was the voltage regulator. Um, it wasn't able to handle um, the load on it and they would burn out quite often. So I had three of them and all three failed. I, if I had to guess, I'd say probably 15, you know, 10 to 20 percent of them were bad. A lot of people got good ones and they just love them. Um, as far as modifications go, you're going to need to put a zip tie and heat shrink on the antenna, otherwise that's going to get caught. Um, I put a silicone pad to help the battery stay in place and not get ejected, and I also took off the worthless strap that they give you that's too big to hold a battery, and got one with a buckle. I think I, yeah, Diatone gives you a spare one with theirs, so that's what I put on there. Um, as far as I hit a metal pole and I hit a tree and after the second uh, crash the actual canopy broke right on the edge. They do give you a spare canopy so this is the spare canopy that's on it. It would been nice if they would have put the four screw holding everything together in the front so it's only held on with the three screws along the side but it works um, um, so I'm happy with it. Uh, the motors are the 1103 uh, 7,000 kV motors. Uh, it seems to be good kV for 3S. Um, they give you two different props to try. Uh, they gave this is the HQ um, two and a half inch, and they also give you the Evon Emacs Evon uh, two and a half inch, which are uh, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more pitch on the blades, and they're a little heavier and um, a little bit faster of a prop. Where these are um, probably give you more even throttle control through the range and a little bit longer flight times, but not quite as fast. Um, so it's oh, the camera is the Runcan Nano 2, which is probably your best. Um, camera out there for these uh, nano builds or these toothpick uh, twig builds right now and it comes with a diamond uh, VTX that's 25 uh, to 200 milliwatts and it's um, smart audio switchable with your uh, radio. Uh, the other thing this has on it is the uh, DVR built into the um, VTX and that's what you're seeing on the side of this uh, shot right now is um, the VTX um, from this DVR uh, recording uh, showing. Uh, as far as weight, it's uh, 52.7 grams. When you add a battery, uh, 300 milliwatt hour, milliamp hour battery, it's um, another 25 grams. So total, you're looking at uh, about 77 and a half grams there. This is the Lava X thrust test. 3S battery. Four hundred. Wow. First bump. Okay, well, second bump. About four ten. And 
third bump. Three ninety, I think. Okay. The two S um, thrust test for the Lara X. About two sixty. First bump. Second bump, 290, and the third bump, 276, Lava X 3S battery thrust test. About 310, I think. Second bump, a over 300, and third bump. Two S uh, Larva X thrust test. About three ten. Second bump. Tear this. A lot less. Two seventy. I'm doing a range test here to see how far um, the uh, Larva X will make uh, on the radio. It starts off with a low RSSI number of 57. A typical um, XM Plus will start off in the 90s. Um, once it hits 24, the quad will drop. Many people are complaining of all the warnings they get, and a few have been actually getting fail safes at uh, 80 to 100 meters. I'm coming up to a mailbox here, which is at um, 155 meters, and it's still going. I think I'll end up with about 225 on this particular flight. I have tried three or four different flights on this, and they've all ended up about within 10 meters of each other. Um, I've tried to extend the, the antenna up straight. I was hoping that that would improve it, but it didn't do anything to help. I am now doing lap speed testing on the shorter playground track. The track is about 500 feet long, and I flew uh, two packs, and I'm using the fastest three consecutive laps, which was 11.3 seconds. Uh, this was about a second slower than the Sailfly X, which was the quickest of 10 quads, and uh, it was a third of a second uh, slower than the um, Diatone uh, 229. I'm now testing uh, the Lava X on the larger uh, field track, um, and it again, it handles quite well, and it's fairly fast at an average speed of 16.7 seconds per lap. My fastest time was with the Turbo B 120 RS using 4S, which, is, which was 15 seconds. For pros and cons, the cost of the quad is one of the lower ones in the toothpick twig range at uh, under $100. I think I paid $90 for this particular one that I've been testing. Uh, another thing is the camera. They uh, put a um, Nano 2 camera on it, which is, uh, I think, the best uh, camera out there now for these uh, nano size quads. Um, and then fun factor, no one, as far as cons go, um, durability, uh, it's quite durable, but I did have the flight control board, uh, move when I hit a, uh, pole in a tree, you had to loosen up the, uh, screws and, uh, straighten the board and retighten it down. And I also cracked the canopy, but they give you a spare canopy. So, uh, it's good that they know that you're going to need a new canopy. It'd be nice if they made it out of a material that would hold up a little bit better. Um, the flight control board, I had some concerns, and it worked just like a charm. So um, basically, it's um, for the money, I don't think you could go wrong with this quad. The video that's playing now, uh, the quad is flying on 2S. I uh, lowered the camera angle a little bit and you could just float among the trees. 
Uh, it's fairly easy, and in fact, uh, in Stu's um, second video, um, he put together a um, starter system, a quality starter system for beginners that listed for about $300. Um, I would say it could be used by beginners. Um, um, it's a little fast, but on 2S, it's easy to fly, and uh, it would work out. Uh, on a quality system, I would probably recommend for a radio, the FR Sky x light and uh, for goggles, uh, they've been down to $200 or under $200, the Amway Commanders version 1, or the uh, for a little bit more, for $250, $60, you could get the SkyZone uh, O2s. This is a spreadsheet that shows the specs and performance data for the Lava X along with uh, nine other uh, toothpicks slash uh, twigs and also some uh, brushed whoops and brushless whoops uh, that I've been testing. I'm hoping to bring you a... Um, video on uh, 10 uh, toothpicks and um, twigs coming up very soon once I get my uh, last one uh, built. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments please leave those below and don't forget to click the like if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.